If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor, and we are continuing with Webtoons. I think you guys by now probably know the drill, so I'm not going to give you the whole spiel, but of course, thank you to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you to Anitra at Say What Reacts, and uh, I hope you got your hope you got your crying eyes on, because here we go into episode 5, and I'm terrified as to what it holds. Let's find out. Dude, I was so scared you were gonna fall. Why would I fall from up here? Well, you, cause you, you started to fall. I just, I lost my balance. I didn't fall. Isn't that how falling works? <laughs> I know RM is talking about the bruises from Junkin getting beat up, but I just think about if I just ran into my friend that I haven't seen for a long time, and one of the first things I said was, what happened to your face? That's just very funny to me. Sorry, and it's sorry. Look, we're going, moving on. And again, Jungkook is deflecting. Now I like that RM called him out on it. That is good behavior and being a good friend. Hey, stop lying, stop deflecting, stop trying to not talk about this. Something bad happened to you. And you know, of course there comes a point where you have to figure out what that person's limit is, but obviously Jungkook is just lying to them. And so good on RM for pushing it, but also once Jungkook deflects again, Good on him for recognizing the limit of the friendship. Now, again, this could come back to bite me as I say that, but I think that there's a level of respect that that has. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Sugar. He answered Sugar's phone call. Hmm. <laughs> So Sugar's in the hospital, and I'm much less excited about the phone call now. Although to be fair, again, I feel like maybe I'm reading a little bit of a relationship there that, uh, you know, could potentially at least interest there. I think there's a reading that could be found within that uh, as far as their relationship goes. But there's something about the fact that Jungkook is the one that that Shuka called, right? I could be totally incorrect on that. I just, I feel like it's something that they would want to talk about in these. I feel like it makes sense, but I, I'll see if I have more evidence. And who do you think you are? Running around leaving scars. Y'all remember how excited I was just a few seconds ago when the phone rang and Jungkook answered it? Don't you think I would have learned by now to never be happy? Sugar literally died in front of them. And just imagine what Jin has to be going through. He went through all that work and he saved Jungkook. He did all the things right and then this immediately happens and now he has to go back. Think about the toll that would take on his mental health and this, this situation of needing to save everyone that he keeps finding himself in. Horrible. Awful. <laughs> Just, sorry. Jungkook sees these dudes in the alley and probably goes, hey, I'm gonna get jumped, and is immediately grabbed from behind and thrown into a corner and gone, don't move. Jin, there are better ways you could have handled that, my guy. Kidnapping my friends to save their life. I'm kidnapping my friends to save their life. Look at Jungkook's reaction when he says, do you still keep in touch with Young Yi? Air conditioner turned on, that's gonna be loud. Sorry, this is just where I'm gonna be for this, so. Apologies, I'll just talk a little louder, I guess. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. Next place. Never good when the police call the main character. It's consistently a bad sign. That's literally never a good thing. Sorry, I can't tell you anything about any of our guests. Oh really? What if he were to like, I don't know, burn the building down? What if he was gonna do that? What if he was gonna burn the building down? Uh, what, what, what was his name? Just imagine the whiplash RM has had. Like he's at work and then he gets kidnapped by his friend to go pull his other friend out of an alley. And then his other friend calls him and was like, yo, I'm in jail. Can you come get me out? 
Like, what a night. That's crazy. Or what I call Tuesdays. V's a little troublemaking goofball. And I, normally I like that, but people's lives are at stake here, V. So maybe we could focus a little bit. So, did Jin not get there in time? Or did someone else burn the place down? Because you know who we're not hearing a lot from? Jimin and J-Hope. But they don't really deal with fire in theirs. It's pretty much just Suga, so I'm not sure where that goes. Regardless, I actually really liked this one, even though Suga died once. Uh, because... <laughs> sure, one of them died, but we're all used to that by now, right? Air conditioner went off. It felt more uplifting. Like, we got to see them laugh a little bit and spend a little bit of time together and, and not, um save each other from death at every second. So I really, I liked this one. This one's cool. Plus we're getting the whole gang together. So it, it's like in the Avengers when they all actually gang up and you're like, cool, great, cool. You know, that's gonna go terribly. I can only imagine. But hey, we're a third of the way through the webtoons, I think. So um, that's fun. And uh, yeah, it's, this one wasn't super painful minus the sugar thing, but we turned back time, so. You know, what are the consequences? Probably significant. That's all I have for you in this one. Thank you so much for watching. Drink lots of water, take care of yourselves, fix your posture, uh, and, you know, check in on your friends and check in on yourself. I hope you're well. I'll talk to you soon, but until then, buraje.